We know that this is a challenging time for many churches who are experiencing a drop in income because there are no services in church buildings. So we want to encourage you to look at online giving. The Church of England has made special arrangements with a company called Give a Little, and we have put this together to help you use these resources. We know that this can be especially challenging for those in multi-parish benefices, so a way you could do this is to choose one of your PCCs who is willing to receive the money and then distribute it to others in your group. We will show you how you can do this later in the video. The first thing you need to do is register with this website, parishbuying.org.uk, and you can begin by clicking on register. That will bring you to this page and you begin by searching for your church in this box by entering your postcode or the name of your village, town or city. Here you can see I'm entering our details for Sutton-on-Trent. This brings up a map of the UK and it will then zoom in automatically to your area. The church we want is here listed as number one. You can see I'm just zooming in a little bit more to make sure it's the right one. Click on it and there you can see it's highlighted Sutton or Trent All Saints. Then you can fill in your details here and when all of that's done and you've entered the capture code, then you click on register to go forward. So here we go, I've filled in my details, my name, email address, phone number, my role within the church, which I'm the vicar, but you may be one of these other roles, I've chosen a username, enter the password, agree to the privacy policy and put in the capture. This meant, brings me through to the next page and uh, you can scroll down, they just want a little bit more information about you. So choose one of these tick boxes. It's easy enough to just to choose contactless card reader. That's the sort of area we're looking at as well as online giving. So I suggest you can just tick that one. And uh, obviously maybe if you're looking at this video, you found about it, uh, you found about it from the diocese. So click on my diocese and submit and there we are we're registered with parish buying and are ready to move on to the next stage now that you're registered with parish buying we're ready to continue to register with for our sum up account so here we are at the parish buying homepage, and we're going to log in again using the details that we just registered with them so you can see here that our username has come up for me that's Sutton on Trent and the password that we've just entered and uh, you can click remember me if you want to so that it's easier next time and then log in and then you can see you're logged in because it says my account here on the top right uh, and so that checks that you log in this is a logout option there and then if you come over here to the left and click on categories and then go down to where it says online giving and click on that and here we go it's a page with some more information about the online giving options and you can see here that we're going to register a sum up account so we're going to click on that and that's brought us through to this page where you can see that it says sum up and parish buying together. And that's important because uh, coming through parish buying means that we're going to be able to access this special offer that's been set up in conjunction with the Church of England and sum up. Uh, and you can see here that uh, it says that it will accept online payments at 0% transaction fees until the 31st of May. I'm recording this video at the end of April. So clearly if you're looking later after the end of May, then that may have changed or will have changed. Uh, and you can see there's some other details about the special offer. So we're going to click on get started now. And that's going to bring us through to this page. And uh, we're going to enter uh, we're registering here for sum up. So we've, we've already registered for parish buying, but we're registering uh, for sum up now. Uh, so we need to use the same email address that uh, we use to register with Parish Buying. Uh, and you can see I'm putting that in here. So make sure it's the same email address that you've registered with Parish Buying already. And then we're going to choose a password. So this this uh, is the password for sum up. So uh, it can be, again, whatever password you want to use. So I'm putting a password in here. And uh, you're agreeing to the terms and conditions, of course, need to do that. You can decide whether you want to have the optional uh, updates sent to you and click continue. And here's an important page. You do have the option to buy a card reader, a contactless card reader, uh, but uh, you, you actually don't have to. You can say uh, you can sort of bypass that option by clicking where it says I already have a reader. But you can see there's different options there of different prices if you do want to go down the contactless route. Uh, you can do that here. 
So we're going to click on I already have a reader and we're going to continue to the sum up dashboard. So here you can see there's a drop down and you can open up and put in your business information. It may already, that drop down may already be open actually when you click on it, but we're going to click on, click on that if you need to. Other legal type, select other again, and then down a couple more boxes and you can see there's an option for charitable organization. So we're going to click that as well. Then we need to put in uh, some more of our details. You can see the different things that it's asking you to do as you scroll down. Um, then I'm going to go back up again. And you can see here that I've entered our company name, which is actually the name on our bank statement. That's really important for reasons that you'll see in a minute. I've put in a phone number, a web address. And I've put in the vicarage address for me. That's the same as where our benefits office is. So I've, I've entered those details there. And then down here, I've put, uh, we need to put two trustees. Uh, you will need to click on where it says add another business owner to open up another box so that you could put in uh, two trustees names there. I've put in my own name as the chair of the PCC and one of our church wardens and then save and continue. And you can see here that uh, it wants to verify uh, some of my identity. So I've again put my name in again and uh, need to put in my date of birth. You can see the address is, that is my address. I'm not going to put my date of birth in on the video, but I've... Uh, I'm going to put it in uh, for the registration purposes and then save and continue. And you can see here that it's pulled across that name that we put in is the business name just now. And now is is in the box there, Parochial Church Council of All Saints Church, Sutton on Trent. Uh, so we need to put in our bank details here. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, sort code and account number. Uh, again, I'm not going to put them in on the actual video, but I've put them in. Uh, I'm going to put them in and then click save and continue. And now it's asking for a verification code to be sent to a mobile phone. So you need to put in your mobile number. Uh, and again, I'm not going to actually show my mobile number on the video, but I'm putting it in to the registration screen. And then I've received, wait a second or two to receive the code. I've received the code. So again, typing that in. And when that's typed in, click confirm code. And when you've done all that, and there you can see we have a successful activation of our SumUp account. And uh, just going to go back to the dashboard before we go back then on to the next step. So we've registered with Parish Buying and with SumUp, but there's a third part that we need to go through in order to continue moving towards getting our online giving set up. And that's to go through to the Give a Little dashboard. Now, it's important to say that Parish Buying is a kind of portal that we use to access all of these services. SumUp is the card processor that we'll be using to process card payments when people want to give. And Give a Little is kind of a front end that works with SumUp in order to have the screens that we need to allow people to give. So that's what we need to set up next. And as you can see, we're back here on the Parish Buying homepage. And you can uh, see that we're already logged in. Uh, the My Account uh, button is there. So you can see we're already logged in and ready to go on to the next stage. So we're coming over here to, to Categories again and scrolling down to, uh, or going down to Online Giving. We've been to this page before. But as you go down the page, you can see now that we've done that bit. So we've registered for our SumUp account. We already have a SumUp account. So we're ready to go on to this bit, create my online giving account. So we click on that and you can see it's brought us to this page where we log in with SumUp. So we're going to click again on that and use the details, the login details that we created with SumUp. So that's the email address that we registered with them and the same password that we created when we set up our SumUp account. Here we go. We're logging into there and you can see we've come to a new dashboard and uh, uh, you can see the name of the merchant there matches what we put in our SumUp account. Uh, we've not raised any money yet because we only just set it up. Hopefully there'll be lots on here soon. Uh, and uh, But you can see the different categories that it gives you. And so that's uh, the three different parts set up. We're now ready to move on to show you how to set up campaigns. The idea of campaigns is this is where, particularly for multi-parish benefices, uh, you can uh, set up different campaigns, maybe one for each of the churches in your group. So now we're going to set up a campaign for our first church. We can actually set up different campaigns for each of our different churches if you're in a multi-parish benefice. Obviously, if you're in a single parish, then you can just set up one. So we're going to select our campaign type here. You can see that there's two choices. There's the Android app. That's if you're using a contactless giving machine. But we're going to set up a, one, a web online campaign. So I'm going to click on that there and then click on Next. 
And you can see there's some different options here. Now, the important thing to notice here is that if you come to this page and these campaign colors, banner and background options are not available to you because they're part of the pro system, then you haven't come, I'm afraid, through Parish Buying correctly and you might need to go back on that. But as you can see here, we've just come straight through and they are available to us. That's because we're part of the Church of England Parish Buying promotional offer. So you can see here that you can choose different options and we're going to just click on this one that says campaign colors. And now we can set up a campaign. So we're going to set it up for the first of our churches. So we're going to set up that first of all for All Saints Sutton on Trend. And we're going to put a message in here. Now you can put whatever you like in. So I'm just going to put a general message in that we're fundraising for ongoing church work. But of course you can uh, think of something else if you like to. And you can see here that you can choose some colours and uh, we're going to use that option in a minute when we come to set up a campaign for a different church in our group. But for, for now, we'll, we'll stick with the yellow option that's giving us. So keep that as it is. Click on next. And now we can set up different donation amounts that will appear on the page, as you'll see in a moment. So we're going to set up four different options. We're going to put in, first of all, five pounds. We're going to add another amount, ten pounds. Uh, 20 pounds and 50 pounds good to encourage people to think about the amounts they can give we're going to also allow people to choose their own amount so we're not limiting them to these options they can choose something else and we're going to capture their gift day details as well so we click on next uh, a little thank you message there and uh, we'll offer them a receipt as well so we'll click on uh, make that option available and then I suggest just put the name of the church in again so they can know which uh, which church they are going to. This will appear on their receipts. So we'll put in All Saints Sutton on Trent again. And then we've done that. We'll click on Save. And you can see now that it's uh, uh, just check that all those details are correct. And then when we're ready, we can publish it. Uh, yes, we're sure we want to do that. So, yes, I'm sure. And now it's actually ready to go. So, you can see here there's a, a link to a web page that is given us there. We're actually going to open that in a new tab. And you can see there that's the page that people will see when they actually click on maybe from uh, you can obviously link to that from your website, from your Facebook or uh, Twitter or Instagram or whatever other means you're using. And people can see that to then go through and do their donation. We'll come back to a little bit more of that in a minute. So we'll click back onto that tab again and we'll go back to all campaigns. And now you can see now we've got our first campaign set up, a web online one there for All Saints. And uh, we're going to add another one. So we'll add the next one. And again, web online is what we're looking for. Go through to next, go through to this campaign colors box. And now we're going to set up a, a separate campaign for St. Lawrence's Norrell. So we are, we've put that in. We're funding for our ongoing church work and the same as before, of course, you can again change the message if you want to. And we can see the different colors are available. So maybe we'll make that a nice blue color. And uh, click the tip box for that. And you can see it's changed the body of the picture there. You can see what it's doing. And again, uh, click the tick. Sorry, it was a little bit off the bottom of the screen there. And then we're ready to click on next. And we can put in our donation amounts again, as we did for our previous campaign. So we'll put in the same numbers. There we are, put them in, capture both those buttons, click on next. And again, I'll offer a receipt. Thank you for your donation. Put in the name of the church again. So this is obviously St. Lawrence's Norrell now. Save that. And again, we've got this uh, page. Just check it out. It's already published it. Yes, we're still sure we want to do that. And again, we've got another so another page now set up, which is for St. Lawrence's Norrell funding for our ongoing church work. And again, different amounts, but you can see within in different colours. Come back here. And now we've got two campaigns set up and we can continue to set up for all the churches that we need to in our group. So here we have our campaign page now with all of the churches in our group set up. And we're going to focus here on this copy link section. You can also use a QR code, scan that with a smartphone will take you to the same page. But so we're just going to focus on the copy link option here. So you can copy that. And then if you open up the link in a new tab, we're going to use the one here for Holyrood Ossington. So opening a new tab here. 
and you can see here the different amounts that we've preset. We're going to choose our own amount. And we can put in the amount here, put in a pound, click on donate. And this takes you through to the page where you enter your card details. You can see here at the bottom that it's got a thing that says donate one pound, which matches the amount we just put in. If we go back, then if we click on the five pound option, you'll see at the bottom it says donate five pounds. But we'll go back to the choose our amount and just put in a pound again. So this is the area where we put our card details in. I'm not going to do that on the video, but uh, I'll show you how we go through the next stages. Put our card details in here, click on donate one pound. That will then take you through the usual card verification steps. And when you've done those, it will take you through to this gift aid declaration form. Of course, if you don't want to gift aid or you're not able to gift aid, then the donor can click on no thanks at the bottom and that will complete the process for them. If you do want to gift aid, then you can put in your details here and click on the add gift aid button at the bottom. And then they come through to this page. Thank you for your donation. You may remember when we set the system up, you could put in what you wanted in here. If you wanted to make it more personal, then you can do so. The donor also receives an email receipt. This is the one that I've just received from my transaction. You can see they give a little logo there. So it's gone to the Parish Church Council of All Saints Church Sutton on Trent, but further down you can see where the donation is intended to go. So obviously it needs to be trust here that the donor knows that even though it says that it's going to one church, that that will then be passed on to the relevant uh, PCC account. So that finishes the sort of work that the donor will see. If we then come back to our give a little page, and we can then see how we need to process that from here. So if we click on reports, we can see the value of donations that have been made to all the different uh, churches across our group of parishes. You can set the date for that. So if you see in this first box here, so if we were just to see what's been done this week, we can go to the uh, date for last Sunday, which at the time of recording this was May the 3rd. So if I set that to the 3rd of May and then through to the 5th of May, you can see those donations. These are all ones that I've made, just small amounts that I've made to just to be able to demonstrate the system. Uh, you might be wondering, where do you actually get the money? So the payouts happen automatically within one to three days of, uh, of the money being received. So you can obviously then reconcile that. Whoever's administering this can reconcile that into their accounts and then work out how to send the money uh, later to the relevant church. The other part of this, of course, is the gift aid. So if we click on the gift aid uh, icon here. And again, we can see the list of who have made gift aid declarations. And then if we go to this uh, blue button at the bottom here where it says export for HMRC, what that's going to do is generate a spreadsheet with that information on it. Again, you can set the date at the top so you can see the relevant time period. So here's the spreadsheet that we've now downloaded. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with, with spreadsheets, it's obviously open in Excel. It's a .csv, but you can rename it to whatever format you need. We're just going to make these columns a little bit wider so that we can see them. And there you can see the details, the name, the address, postcode, the date of the donation and the amount. What, you'll, what you see isn't there is which church it needs to be associated with. So we need to go and find that. And we do that by going not to the give a little dashboard, but actually the sum up dashboard. So this is the other dashboard that we saw earlier in the setup process. And if we go to that, remember it's the same login details, same login details for sum up as it is for give a little. But if you go to now sumup.co.uk, uh, then we can log on to that dashboard and we need to match up the donations that we made there with the information on this spreadsheet so we can work out where the gift aid needs to go. So here we are at sumup.co.uk and we're going to click on this login button here on the top right hand corner and put in our email address and password and here we can see the sum up dashboard obviously lots of different uh, uh, confidential information on here so it's important to keep those login details secure. And here you can see the, uh, the donations that have been made. And what we need now to do is to match these donations with the donations on our spreadsheet. So if I click on this, if you see this donation that I've just made that you saw, if I click down here, you can see the details there at the time of when it was made. 
if I click there here on receipt and view and now I can check that the amount is there you see it's been made to Holy Reed Ossington there's my name and uh, that I've given a pound and so what I need to do now is to go to the spreadsheet and match that one up on the 5th of May for a pound and I can type that in there that it was that's a donation made to Holy Rood Ossington and then what I need to do is go back through that process again for each of those donations and make sure that we can match up the donation the name with the appropriate church so we go back to the sum up dashboard and we can try the, another one here so we can see this donation here to so All Saints Sutton on Trent Again, okay, we can view it you can see here my name the details there the date it was made for a pound go back to there and you can see that was the one that I made yesterday to All Saints Sutton on Trent so you can see that's the appropriate one so you just need to basically go through those donations obviously the more often you do it and the easier it is and then you can send the money to the appropriate church and also make sure that the gift date uh, matches up so you can see here just working through the others in exactly the same way so when we've done all that we can log out of the sum up dashboard and we can log out of the give a little dashboard and there we are we hope that that will really help you to set up this online donation system if you do have any further questions do come through to Tony Brown uh, and we will do our best to help to guide you through a few points to note as we finish by signing up to use the online giving platform you will receive eight months free access to the give a little premium membership making it straightforward for givers to make a gift day declaration for their donation this free premium membership has been provided by the Archbishop's Council and is available for the online giving platform only. Once the eight months are over, the premium membership will revert back to the standard amount, which is £9 a month. If you are a single parish, this will be much simpler. You will not have to worry about setting up multiple campaigns. You just need to do one for your general church funds. This means you will not need to cross-reference the HMRC report with the sum up receipts either. If you are claiming gift aid through Jill Stanforth at the diocese, then you will need to send her your sum up login details. This is so she can access the gift aid declarations if required to do so by an HMRC audit. If you are in a multi-parish benefice, then the church that is administering this will need to make the gift aid claim and then distribute the money to the other churches in the benefice. Now that you have set up the system, you need to promote it. Go to the campaign section of the Give a Little dashboard and click on Copy Link. This will place the URL for your page on the device clipboard that you can then paste into a link on your website, Facebook page or other social media, or you can paste it into an email to send to whoever administers these for you. Websites and apps are updated all the time. If any of the sites used here change significantly, we will update this video. If you would like to sign up to our stewardship email updates, please complete the online form at tiny.cc forward slash SN stewardship. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you find it helpful.